I'm Leah Ditton and I'm here today to give you a few tips on how to best use your Lumar winch. So I'm wearing a nice pink hat uh, because I want my hair away from all moving parts. So I want to get in a good position. Uh, this means that I'm braced for the boat moves. I'm also braced if the line suddenly eases, I won't fall back. Uh, we notice immediately on looking at the winch that the tailor here is running off the other side as if I was sitting over here. So I need to move that first off. One great thing about Lumar winches, unlike their competitors, is that I can do it without any tools, really no time at all. So I'm just gonna shift that over there, pop it in place, and then we're all ready to go. So something's jamming up on deck and I can do this on the fly, which is fab. Right, so sheet's coming in. Now we're ready to put the sheet on the winch, although it could be any line, not necessarily a sheet. Always clockwise. I'm gonna put three turns on, which is a good base number. Obviously, the number of turns depends on the load that you're the working with, but we'll use three for today. I then put it in the self-tailor, in the sprung jaws here, see there's a spring? And give it a bit of a tug so that it digs in quite nicely. Now, if you had an electric winch, you would just press go now, <laughs> but we don't, so uh, we're going to do it by hand. And we're using Lumar's fabulous award-winning one-touch handle. I haven't used anything since they brought this out, so uh, big plug for that. <laughs> anyway, always turn clockwise for the, to engage the first gear, which is slower. That's why you give it a big tug. And to engage the second gear anti-clockwise. Makes sense, right? Much faster. And there we go. To grab the handle out in a hurry, one touch. Pull it out. So we're all ready to ease the line. Um, I take it out of the tailor and I'm taking it fist over fist. Now this is very important because if the boat jolts or the load changes, you end up with the fist into the tailor and not your fingers. So here we go. Now we're ready to ease with the palm of the hand, fingers together, and we ease gently, no sudden shocks behind your hardware. So here we go, easing nicely, one movement over another. See with the right hand, I'm just feeding it forward, stroking it with the left hand. And there we go. Now, another thing to note is that as I'm easing, you also want to be looking to what you're easing because you could have other crew members up ahead, you could be easing something out, the boom could come across and hit somebody. So as I'm easing, I'm looking up forward, making sure that what I'm doing isn't having any adverse consequences on anybody else on board. So we're all good, close the jammer. And now I'm ready to use the winch for something else if I want to. 